Yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, yo. What up, what up? We got Zcash having a ha having a having event. One month, seven days, 16 minutes, and 45 seconds from right now. Uh, we will be having a Zcash uh, having event. The block, re the block reward is going to be cut down to 1.56 Zcash. So guys, let me tell you about Zcash if you don't know what it is. It's a privacy coin. Now, there has been some talk about Hubuy. I think I think they're delisting Monero, or maybe they already did. I don't know. I was reading some articles. But um, there's problems with these privacy coins because... You know, where are you gonna buy them? You know, it's like BSV. Where are we gonna buy BSV? Where are we gonna, you know, where are we gonna buy Zcash if they delist it everywhere? But I'm still hopeful of these projects, guys. I don't I don't plan on selling it. Um, you know, it doesn't doesn't scare me out or, or shake me out of my positions. I don't I don't really care at this point. I'm I'm still very bullish on Zcash. And I think that um, it's probably one of the best cryptocurrencies in the entire world. So that's why I choose to talk about it tonight. Uh, the calving's coming up in a month. It happens every four years. There was one in 2000. Uh, uh, first halving was November 17, 2020. Uh, the second, this is the second halving. May 12, 2023. Again, approximately whenever those blocks reach a certain height, uh, we will have that. The annual Zcash inflation is reduced significantly. I mean, it's it's going to be reduced. The block reward is going to be reduced from 3.125 to 1.5625 Zcash. Uh, every four years, the Zcash creation amount will be in half. So it's pretty cool. I mean, this is the whole idea of this stuff, guys. The least, the less coins that we have coming into circulation from the miners mining new blocks, getting a block reward. The idea of this stuff is the price pressure will mount the in, in these cryptocurrencies should and shall uh, approach new all-time highs against US dollars, fiat currencies around the world, and hopefully in terms of uh, Bitcoin Core too. We'd like to ultimately we would like to try to to share this this market cap so there's not such a divergent from uh bitcoin core and a lot of these altcoins because if you go back and you look at the history of crypto and bitcoin in the beginning um it seems that the most um most notable and um noble uh things that qualities that that bitcoin had was the fact that you can use it as payments and it was tr truly decentralized like more than it is now uh, at least um and the idea of being able to use, spend, and send cryptocurrencies to your friends. Um, you know, if you owe your friend $10, like, you know, send them, you know, uh, 0.2 Zcash or, you know what I mean? Like, like the whole idea is this stuff is it's supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be exciting. And I really feel that the people that have came into crypto recently, it's not their fault um, because they have been exposed to this idea of cryptocurrency as like this like this NFT craze, like, you know, like buy this NFT. And it's very confusing from their perspective. So if you guys are new to crypto, I want you to be aware that um, I'm glad you're here. You know, everybody in the community that's been part of crypto is glad you're here. But we want you to realize something that's very important to us and cryptocurrency holders around the world uh, that have been in this stuff way longer than me, um, way longer than the five, six years that I've been in it. And that is this. Cryptocurrency is supposed to be currency, cryptocurrency, money. Um, that is what this stuff is. And I want you guys to be aware if you're watching this channel, that is what I come to talk to you guys about. Every day, every night, every second I can is to, to tell you guys that the idea of this stuff is to release us from the chains of fiat currency that have enslaved human beings since the beginning of time. That is the reason I come on here. That is a, that is truly the reason I'm making these videos. You know, if I want to go talk about uh, you know the the newest coin of the week, sure, I'm sure more people would reach it, but they don't. They're not getting the idea across to what cryptocurrency is. And if people keep missing this idea, you know. I'm not going to be the one that misses out. You guys are. And I don't mean in terms of dollars. So get that out of your head. I mean the vision of where cryptocurrency can go. It's going to go up on dollars for sure. So if you're worried, it might take five months. It might take five minutes. It might take five years. But it's going to go up massively against dollars. It's built into the core technology of the computer software in some of these mineable cryptocurrencies. And... There was talks about Zcash going into proof of stake, I think around 2025. 
I haven't really heard a lot of uh, new development on that, so I don't really know much about that. I know it pumped 30% when it was, uh, I think it was 2020 or 2021. They said they might the they might be moving to proof of stake, but you know, I, I like I said, I haven't heard a lot of developing action on that. Um, you know, I've even checked you know the website, the news, things like that. There's just not a lot of like continuous development on that particular uh, thing. So I'm still hopeful it'll stay, you know, mineable. Um, I prefer mineable cryptocurrencies. I don't like the idea of a group of people or a group of people holding a bigger bag to jeopardize the integrity of the network. That's just my own personal opinion. Uh, but I've held Zcash. I've spent Zcash. Um, there was an episode, I know for a fact, uh, you can go back and watch one of my live episodes where Bitcoin Jason, me and him were having a discussion on Zcash and he, I, he was able to very easily uh, set up a wallet. I was able to send him Zcash. And really the interesting thing about Zcash is you can shield the sending address by simply hitting a button. It does all the work for you. The network knows that the money's there. The network knows that the person received that money, but the network doesn't let anybody know any government entity any uh any bank anybody know where that money came from and that's such a unique thing with zk snarks at the same time it's such a risky thing for zcash too because we don't know you know if exchanges are going to be uh you know listing it and i would think that the less exchanges list it maybe the price would go up indefinitely but we've, like I said, BSV has been delisted from everywhere. We haven't really seen that price increase yet, keyword yet. So I'm still very hopeful, guys. I mean, I'm not, uh, you know, I have nothing but good things to say about BSV, uh, Zcash, Dash, Monero, Bitcoin Cash, all the cryptocurrencies that I support. And I uh, just want to let you guys know that in one month, seven days, nine minutes and 44 seconds from now, uh, Zcash is going to be having a having dropping it from 3.125 Zcash down to 1.5625 Zcash coins in approximately to the miners. And uh, this only happens every four years. So it's a pretty big deal. It's the second halving on Zcash that we've ever experienced. So we'll see kind of how it plays out in terms of price against dollars, how it competes, that kind of thing. And uh, we'll catch you in the next episode. Later.